The movie version of the popular game Doom, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, opens with narration describing an incredible discovery, an ancient teleportation device called ARC, which links the planet with Mars. At a distant research facility, the final 10% of the human genome has just been discovered, and with it, all hell has broken loose. Now, a call for help has gone out. Game time. Listen up, man. We're going in hot. If it breathes, kill it. There's something coming up behind you. It's in the sewer! If it breathes, kill it. If it breathes, kill it. <laughs> An archaeological team goes through the Stargate and begins research at the Oduvai station on Mars. While investigating humanoid remains uncovered on the Red Planet, they unwittingly open a door and all hell breaks loose. A legion of nightmarish creatures of unknown origin comes through the portal to destroy them. If this all sounds like a plot from our current book, Nephilim Stargates, the year of 2012 and the return of the Watchers, it is because the makers of Doom borrowed from the same mythologies we've been discussing concerning dimensional portals or doorways through which beings of good and evil pass. This is our chance to learn more about our planet and maybe even save it. What you've created here is incredible. They just cracked interdimensional travel. All exhibit unique physical conditions. I just want to fix my friends. You can't fix this. You should use these powers to help people. You opened a door. You don't know how to close. You opened a door. You don't know how to close. Be ready for what's coming. What is coming? The answers. The answers. You opened a door. You don't know how to close. You don't know anything about what's coming. What is coming? Doom. What is coming? Doom. In a previous book, I fictionalized that the planet Mars is indeed a prison where entities who rebelled against the Creator God during a past distant war are sealed. When the Stargate is opened, the enclosures slide apart, releasing, among other things, Quetzalcoatl the feathered serpent deity of ancient Mesoamerica. The great cycle of the Mayan calendar's long count, which is 5,126 years long, and a 26,000-year planetary cycle in the Aztec calendar end on December 21st, 2012. According to the Maya, it will also be the time when the sky opens and Quetzalcoatl returns. The ancient astronaut theory and the teaching of theologians alike look to the prehistoric legend of Watchers to discuss the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, and the creation of mutant DNA following Earth visitations by gods. We find the Egyptians originally migrated from the biblical land of Shinar, which means the land of the Watchers. The Egyptians called it ta Nater, the land of the Watchers from which the gods came into Egypt. In the Book of the Dead, there are prayers for deliverance from the Watchers, who came from Ta'ur, the faraway land. The Sumerian scribes referred to the Watchers as Anunnaki, which they said came from Nibiru, to judge and rule the inhabitants of the earth. Some interpret this Nibiru as a distant planet, while others say it should be translated, those who from heaven to earth came.
The Bible refers to the Nephilim, which also means those who came from heaven to earth. Over 6,000 years ago, the Sumerians recorded knowledge of the solar system on cylinder seals with the sun at the center of the universe and 11 bodies surrounding it, including Pluto, and a tenth planet called Nibiru. With the moon and the sun included, it is the twelfth planet. For thousands of years, we have awaited this day. For thousands of years, we have awaited this day. We have awaited this day. The complete planetary alignment of our solar system. And with these celestial events, the spark of power within the long dormant crystals has been renewed. It is not the planetary alignment the human race should fear. It is what the alignment has awakened. Some contend that extraterrestrial intelligence traveled from distant planets or other dimensions, imparted galactic wisdom to people around the globe, and then departed through a wormhole or stargate, leaving behind promises of returning someday. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice, tumbling down the rabbit hole. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. After this, there is no turning back. After this, there is no turning back. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Follow me. The Mayan calendar cycle totaled 5,126 years to December 21st, 2012. And the September 11th, 2001 dimensional door to September 23rd, 2015, exactly 5,126 days. The Mayan calendar cycle is only a part of the riddle, and more is to be expected. It was predicted that a man named Quetzalcoatl would come on or directly after December 21, 2012. Quetzalcoatl is described as a man with unusual similarities to Christ Jesus the Lord. He is called the God of the Morning Star, and yet Quetzalcoatl is also described in lore as a dragon, a flying snake, a red-feathered serpent that comes down to earth. He's often shown eating human sacrifices in art and sculpture, and having horrid and vicious features about him. The red dragon. The red capstone. It's coming. I've been actually dreaming of this planet that is getting close to earth twice. In the first um, dream, I was, um, I was on this inner space, and I was with a group of friends, and we were just driving on the road, and all of a sudden, I seen this huge, huge planet. It was, like, way bigger than the moon. It took up just about the entire sky. 
it was like a bluish greenish color and people were um, distracted looking at it it was so um it was i guess you could say it was beautiful it was appealing to the eye and people were just distracted looking at it taking pictures and just glancing at it and my spirit automatically said it's time coming go home and get your families ready and get your stuff ready and i started telling people judgment is coming judgment is coming and they were just looking at this planet and i remember as i was um trying to go home these ufos um these demons fallen angels demons they're not really ufos they're they're demons but that's what they call them here on earth aliens as we know they started coming down and they started um torturing the people as they were distracted with this planet and a lot of people started screaming and panicking and i had another dream where um i was outside of my house and um i seen the moon and beside the moon there was another planet this is a completely different dream and in this dream um this planet was red and it was huge it was about the size of the moon it was right beside the moon and underneath that planet there was another moon and at the moment that this planet appeared um natural disasters started happening mountains mountains started crumbling and falling the earth started cracking and people started um people started falling and stuff and getting hurt and uh, I remember seeing a whole bunch of little planets just appearing and stuff. Yeah, guys, so um, we, we really need to, uh, need to get ready because the Lord is coming. We need, to, we need to start cleaning our dresses because these things are going to happen very soon. These things are going to happen very soon. It has been buried for thousands of years. A mystery. A secret. A threshold to the future. Where'd you find this? I've, I've never seen anything like this. One man will break the code and open the door and open the door and open the door. Well, you should read Stargate. That was in front of us the whole time. One man will break the code and open the door. Jackson identified the seventh symbol. Back in storage, reserve power, on. What is that? It's your Stargate. We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. Jackson identified the seventh symbol. 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 You opened a door. You don't know how to close. The beam has locked itself onto a point somewhere in the Kalium galaxy. It's on the other side of the known universe. It's on the other side of the. It's on the other side of the. It's on the other side of the known universe. They prepared for danger. Began final evacuation. They expected the unknown. Stabilizing system. But they could never have imagined this. I can't make it work without the seventh symbol. I can't make it work without the seventh symbol. Jackson identified the seventh symbol. One man will break the code and open the door. With everybody wearing this shirt right here, as if it's saying, September, we are going up. This is the arrow of the first horseman of the apocalypse. He has an arrow. And then we have a two and a C. They really love the number 23, like two threes for 33. A C is known as a three. So we have September, the arrow goes, and the 23rd right here. That's what all of this means through here. Because cancer is also the sign of the crossing. I just want to give you guys a heads up about something I ran across today. Um, there's an asteroid that's been named Bennu 
that is going to cross the elliptical orbit of the Earth in April of 2015, what I wanted to point out to you is that the Earth will cross this exact spot where Bennu is crossing, is crossing. Because Cancer is also the sign of the crossing. The Earth will cross this exact spot where Bennu is crossing. Nibiru literally means the crossing. I have seen the door and of course Planet X or the Planet of the Crossing. I want you to look at their logo. It's a six and a nine. It's a it's a 69th session, and the six and the nine represent uh, right side up, upside down paradigm. Because Cancer is also the sign of the crossing. On September 23rd, 2015. Right here on this Freemason arch, it actually shows here the side of beauty, which is the side of Jesus. March 21st, to the woman, which is called Wisdom, leaving off of the moon on September 23rd, but the dates are 20th, 21, 22, and 23 again. But do you see where 22 is? The 22 is the symbol of 1111, and some have called, said it's the time of the crossing. So on September 23rd, 2015, the Earth will cross the same path that Bennu crossed a few months earlier, and Bennu was known as the Lord of Jubilees across this exact spot where Ben is crossing.